Alrighty, good morning everyone. We're out on the bowling mobile today and it's just you and me. And basically, we're out on the river chasing Barra. Now, I know we've been a little bit heavy on the Barra content, but we are, it's about two weeks left till, uh, till close season, which if you don't know, in Queensland, Barramundi close season runs from 1st November to the 1st of February. So trying to get my Barra fix in before that time comes. So I've just spent the last 10 or so minutes sounding up some fish and found a nice school of fish hanging on a lay down, pretty typical of the river. And we're coming right up to tide change in just under an hour. So we're gonna, we're gonna pepper pretty hard, try and get a big fish. And later on today, we might try for a thready as well. Uh, it's very busy on the river today, so there's probably a lot of uh, a lot of boats on them. But, but we'll we'll see what we can we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna start off old faithful 125 mil flick prawn, and I always like to kind of fish weedless uh, in these laydowns because not only can you get snagged, but you can get snagged and spook the fish. So we're not about spooking fish. But basically, I've just come down current of the laydowns kind of in here. I'm gonna cast up current, let it sink to the bottom, and kind of hop it and roll it through the snag. The lay down. All right, cast about 10 minutes of the prawn. Just gonna try a little, uh, the five, five and a half inch paddle bait now. Rigged wheelless as well. I'll probably be rotating between these two a lot when I'm fishing the, um, the lay down, the heavy structure. Uh, just so I don't get caught up in it. When we're in a bit more open water, I can throw a bit more of a variety of lures. All right, so this is a major issue that we have to deal with in here. So we got multiple bull sharks sitting right under the boat. I don't even, I don't know. I'm going to have one more cast and it's its just so not worth it. Oh, i got to get out of here. The, um, the sharks are out of control and I think it's affecting the bite as well, making it even tougher. So even if I do get a nib, it's just like... Do I even get it past the four sharks sitting under my boat? Probably not. So we're gonna move uh, up the river, see what else we can find. All right, just moved up the river a little bit. Found another school of fish sitting up here. Let's see if we can get these to fish to bite. What's this? I don't know if this is a bar, or unless he's swimming at me. Well, I think he might be. Uh, yeah, it is. There we go. Oh, he's not big. Something though. Uh, not bad. Just a little tucker. Oh, no. Can you stay in the net, mate? Oh! <laughs> really didn't want to be netted, that guy. Smoke the prawn. It's a good bite. Oh! Want a flick prawn there. There you go. Nice little barra there. Spearing back. Big splashes. Uh, I don't think that was one of the ones I sounded up. The ones I sounded up much bigger than him, but I'll bloody take it, you know? I'll take it, doink. We'll um, get back in there, though. No more nibs in this zone, move to the next one. And also one thing we've got going on as well is we're hitting the top of the tide, but 
it, it, it's kind of at a later time further up the river so I've actually been following the high tide up the river and I'm going to keep doing that push my way up try to get that tide change bite going all the way up the river so um, not something I normally do too much but we're trying it out today we've got one bite so far so not too bad so we'll keep moving see what else we can get going all right probably moved a couple k's up the river and there's a little stick here that i found recently should be about here there it is on the side scan there there's a couple fish in there a few yep oh no, it's <laughs> Got like a solid one. How the hell did I pull hooks? So rude. Oh, on the wind. No, it popped up as well. Oh. Oh my god, I have I lost so many. Oh, my lead is a bit chafed up, just gonna retie and then get back in there. No, no more bites out of this fish. Might leave them, come back later, take my bite later. Run up the river quite a bit, it's much quieter up here, but um, still some fish around. Oh, there's a few there. Yep. Oh. Has he got me in a stick? Nah. Hasn't jumped yet. A bit of weight though. What's going on here? That's a cod. No wonder why it didn't jump. You cheeky bastard. Looking out of school of Barra on the sounder, get the doink. He actually had me, I think that extra weight at the start, he actually had me in the stick a little bit. Scoop. Ah. See you, bud. Now, back to the barra. They were up here somewhere. I think they were in front of that stick. Try to roll through. Try slow roll one through the school. Yep. Oh, soon as I did that, I got a bite. Oh, and it didn't stick again. Oh, how did that not hook up, man? Oh, I'll try that again. Oh. Oh. Please, I deserve one good one. I think the amount of hours I put in the last day and a half. Just tied a different colored prawn on just to try something else. Give him something different to look at. Just had to sit down for about, about five minutes or so. Let him chill out. Hopefully forget about me. <laughs> yep. First cast. This, why doesn't this feel like? Oh yeah, it is. I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Literally changed colour. Sat down for five minutes. Let him chill. Just a baby. Ugh. There we go. Little nugget. See you, mate.
Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hook just came out. Are you kidding? Ah. Oh. I'm having some sort of run today. This is insane. Can't keep the bloody hooks in them today. It's insane. Two casts later. Hook up on the snag. Gonna spook all the fish. Perfect. Well, when you're fishing lay down, it's probably one of the worst things you can do is get snagged on it and shake it around because you generally spook all the fish. So I'm gonna move, find another school. All right, new spot, new school of fish. Little fella. Drag's locked. <laughs> Bag's in the way. Come on. Come on. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. The day of the little men. There you go, hooks out. Nice clean little salty there. Not huge by any means, but we're getting a couple doinks. Oh, we need big fish though. Might just have one more cast at this, this lay down that these fish are sitting on and then quickly move and try to sit on some bigger fish for this tide change that we're about to get into. Man, even though they're little fish, they bloody whack it hard. Like, that fish absolutely whacked that prawn. I don't think there's any big fish on this spot, so even though I know there's little ones, probably get some doinks from. Uh, while we're about to hit tide change, I want, I'm, I'm going to move because I want to spend tide change on a bigger school of fish. Bigger size fish, you know. See if I can get a big one because we're having not too many dramas getting bites from the small ones. Getting bites from the big ones is the challenge. I'm just backing up on them now, but you can see right here, there's a couple shadows and a few more there. There's a few fish just behind this stick here in this little gap. There's a few and then behind in this little pocket. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go down current, cast up, drop that down there and um, pop it on the bottom. Hopefully it gets nibbed. Oh great, as soon as I pull up, shark under the boat. Yeah, look at him. Look at him here. Bloody bastard. Oh, I feel like no line left on this reel. I'm back. I'm all the way to the backing. Come off! Oh, oh, that was a good fish. It's a huge boil. Oh, bro. Oh my god. <sighs> I, you cannot make this day up. This is insane, man. Oh, you literally cannot make it up. That's probably the best fish of the day. Come right to the surface, big boil. <sighs> Legit chafed up like this much of my leader. So he had it that far down. Oh man. I can't even explain to you guys how frustrating that is. I've literally never like Missed this many fish in a day in my life. It's just something else. I know there's going to be people in the comments that say, well, you're using a bloody weedless lure. 
obviously you're not going to catch every fish. Well, the issue is, if you're trying to fish laydowns and snags like this, you cast something that's not weedless rig like this, you will get snagged almost instantly. And what happens is you snag on the, on the lay down on the tree and you shake that tree, trying to get your lure off. We end up breaking off, snapping the line, you end up spooking the whole school of fish that's there. So yeah, you have more exposed hook and if a fish bites it, you're probably gonna have a better chance of hooking up. But you're probably not gonna get a bite because you're not even getting into the, the right zone where the fish are gonna be and where they're gonna be feeding. Because as soon as you got into the structure, you've, you've snagged on the tree. You're not going to catch more fish doing it that way. It's just how it is. You're going to catch more fish getting more casts and being in the right zones than being stuck in trees all day. Holy f Oh my god! Oh, that scared the shit out of me. That was dead set of meter fish just come up and just maybe the shark was up him or something. But oh my god! Ooh. <laughs> that scared the life out of me. Yeah, just as that fish has gone past, look at this. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like eight bull sharks just come through. Must have been right up that fish. Wow, that's insane. Well, there's not really much point casting here. That is absolutely ridiculous. Well, I don't know how well you would have seen that, but that was legit meter plus barra um, fleeing for his life. There yeah, would have been, you know, eight plus sharks on the sound of there. I'd, I'd say they were chasing him. Um, so with that, we're going to move spots again. Um, there's no, there's literally no point casting here. Any fish I hook's just going to get mauled. So. Uh, we might go for a try, see if we can catch a thready. Just to try and redeem ourselves, we'll try to get a thready. Fingers crossed. Coming in. You want a hand? You good? You good? Oh! Nice! <laughs> The two first cars. <laughs> there we go. It's the day of the little Mondays. He has choked that down. <laughs> Have a go at that. That's down there. Whoa, whoa. Not a little bar, not too shabby. Oh. There was a heap of threads up there and they kind of dispersed a little bit. So decided to move, have a sound around. Just came in front of this drain here and there was a few fish kind of spread out along this little hard edge. That's a bit deeper off. And literally first cast in there, little bar. Now I pretty much run this little setup, which I don't really run often. I've chucked the flick prawn on a standard jig head just because I wanted a bit more hook exposure fishing that open water for the threadfin salmon and normally I'll throw a curly prawn but just because it's gone a little bit dirty I wanted the flick prawn for the little rattle inside it and just to make an audible noise instead of the lures just natural vibrations we've got that little bit of a ticking sound Alrighty, so wind's picked up, the tide is really picked up, it's actually raging, it's making it near impossible to fish. On top of that, the fish have moved on as well, so I tried for a good bit to catch a thready there and just wasn't meant to be today, but that's alright, we had a good crack on the barra, I missed some, some good fish, uh, you know, we had a bunch of bites, we had a good time. No big fish, 
bunch of small fish, still fun. Love catching barra either way. Had some really good bites, had some good opportunities. It just wasn't my day in terms of sticking hooks in every fish. But thankfully we got to stick, stick some hooks in a few. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. Um, I'll see you next time. Peace.